Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. I am Harish Kumar and in today's video we will diving into the world of React. We will be using lightning fast build tool called Wheat to scaffold our React project. So whether you are a complete beginner taking your first step into React or you are simply exploring new ways to set up your project, this video is for you. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript a comprehensive guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait? Grab your copy today from the link in the video description. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. To create a new fresh React app, we can run the command on terminal npx create react app and then project name. This command will create a new fresh React app. If we see this in the React documentation, click on this learn React and then installations and here start new React project. Now in this documentation, you cannot find this command to create React app. The React developer team has removed this create React app command from the official documentation. Instead, React documentation recommends Next.js, Remix, Gatsby frameworks to create new app. This means that it is no longer the default method to setting up a new React project. I generally prefer Next.js which is a full stack React framework to create React app of any size and it also supports server side rendering. You can start with Next.js but if you are new to React, I recommend learning basic React fundamental first before starting with Next.js or any React framework. So in this series, first I will cover basic fundamentals of React.js and then later I will cover Next.js also. So in today's video, I will be using Wheat to create a React app instead of using this old command. Because Wheat is a lightning fast build tool that simplifies the setup process and allows you to jump right into the React development. So let's create an app using Wheat. So for that, let's run npm create wheat at latest press enter now enter your project name let's say react tutorial and enter here it provides the quick scaffolding for these projects and here we want to use react so select the react and press enter next we need to select the variant i generally use typescript but because this tutorial is mainly focused on react so let's select javascript press enter and it's done that's it all of these takes less than a minute to set up we do not need to install or configure webpack babel eslint wheat handles all of that for you out of the box with optimized defaults now let's go to cd react tutorial and npm install it is done now let's open this in the editor this is our react project now in the terminal let's start up the dev server so npm run dev the dev server is also started instantly and our react app is 
up and running on localhost port 5173. Let's see this in the browser. This is how it default looks and here it has default count component also. Now let's see our folder structure. The first directory is the node modules. If you have already worked on JavaScript projects, then you may already know that node modules is a directory that contains all the dependencies, external libraries or modules of the project. Our next folder is the public directory. This public folder contains static assets like images or any other files. Next is the src directory where our main source code lives. Here you will write react components and application logic. And we has already set up an example component app.jsx. Next is this ESLint configuration file. The ESLint is a static code analysis tool for identifying problems in the JavaScript code. I have already created a tutorial on this. I recommend you to watch that video also. Another file is package.json to manage projects dependencies. And this Vite configuration file is used by Vite for project configuration. You can customize the Vite build settings, plugins and more in this file. Now in the source directory, this main.jsx is the main entry point. So what it does, first it gets the document element id by root. So if we see the index.html, this one, here we have div and its id is root. So this document get element by id looks for this div and then this react dom renders the react app in this div so in the browser let's open the inspect tool and in the body tag here we have div with the id root in this div you can see the entire react app let's say we change this root element something else maybe test now save this now in the browser refresh the app is not rendered and in the console we can see here we get error target container is not a DOM element because because it cannot find the DOM element which has id root. So now let's change this to root save go back to browser here we go the react app is loaded and this react DOM has rendered this app component which is imported right here from the app.jsx so let's open this app.jsx right here so here it has loaded these all HTMLs right here in the browser so if i remove these logos and in the browser you can see it is removed let's change here title hello world go to browser and it is immediately rendered hello world so you can also notice that it provides the hot reloading what i mean so now if i remove here h1 tag and save this immediately it is removed on the browser without reloading the app it is called hot reloading undo this immediately the hello world is rendered in the browser it speed ups our development process so this is it for setting up react project with wheat and exploring the initial project structure wheat is a fantastic tool for fast and efficient react development in future videos we will dive deeper into more features of react js if you found this video helpful please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest content if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Happy coding. Mm -hmm.